Priest, is that a, is that a good point this afternoon? Oh. What you say is it a good point when you get to the last, you know, getting to injury time or the last few minutes on previous previous occasions of Buxton, we've lost two, fired, we've lost one, so you know at least we didn't lose that point, um, but we probably should have got the point right at the end, you know, at the, at the bar. You know, in those games, I feel a little bit. I feel a little bit for the lads because you know they're trying their hardest to to break down a team that sets up you know to get a point um makes life really difficult for you um and you have to take your chances and the criticism would be that we didn't take our chances we had three or four really good ones in the first half we had a couple of good ones in the second half and you're not going to get much more than that when you play Alfreton so you have to take those chances we've hit the bar We've hit the post, um, and we just probably the criticism would we, that we weren't ruthless enough. But you know, we were trying to pass the ball, trying to move the ball, we we're trying to not get into the same, uh, into playing the same game that uh, that Alfreton were playing. But at times, you know, you have to you have to fight and battle in in those games against Alfreton. Also, beat us. They beat us here, here last year. Um, they done fastly, you know, in the last last ten minutes last week. Um, so. Credit to our lads that they stuck at it. A few of them were flagging a little bit. We got a few. Obviously, Ennis was out, and we got two or three who were really tight in their hamstrings and got through ninety minutes. Um, so now we've got a week to refresh because you know we've only got a small squad, um, but we're disappointed with a point. Um, but saying that, you know, it, it's obviously better than getting none. We're still in seventh place. There's a little gap. We're probably there by rights now, um, and it's another game ticked off. So we're still in a really strong position, um, and we'll take the positives from it. And that we, you know, that we showed that we can fight. If we need to fight, um, you know, we'll do that. Yeah, it's another clean sheet as well, isn't it? Um, I don't know how many clean sheets we've got now this season. Thirteen, maybe something like that. Um, so that's another thing to build on as well, isn't it? Yeah. Look. If you get a clean sheet, then you've got a point. Um, we do look dangerous, you know. I thought we looked really dangerous in the first half. Any time that we got the ball down in their half, we created an opportunity. Um, we just didn't take them. Um, and at the back, we're, we're really strong. You know, it's tough. You know, Reed's difficult to play against. Um, they've got good runners coming off off Reed, so they, you know, they're good at the, what they do. You can criticise them for, for, you know, for whatever whatever you want you know at the end of the day they're really effective at what they do Billy knows what he's doing um, and you've got to find a way like like every team of beating the opposition you can't you can't moan about the opposition and the way they play you've got to find a way of of, uh, of breaking them down and we did break them down but we weren't ruthless enough and um, that's a disappointing thing but defensive wise you know we were great you know uh, I thought I uh, our back four were, were, were great. Joe Nolan playing out of position again, you know, had a, had a really good game. Um, so pleased with with our defensive display because um, I think Matty was excellent in the first half, made two fantastic saves for us. Um, and we do protect him, you know, we protected him second half where he didn't have anything to do. But first half, you know, he showed his quality. And, and now and again, you know, we're not going to be able to protect him. And then he's come good. But I thought it was a very strong defensive performance uh, against you know long throws and balls coming in the box and, and some very dangerous players so yeah really pleased with with a clean sheet and like you say it's good now that we have a week <clears throat> not a week off obviously but a week off get uh, midweek games to sort of reset a little bit because it's been hectic the last few weeks yeah look it's been game after game and you know we play we play at a high intensity you know ask the players to work so hard and and, and to press and and uh, and then to play quickly, so you know there's, there's a lot put on them physically, um, and you know we need we need that break. We need to refresh. We need to recharge the batteries. We need, you know one or two, like I say, are, are struggling a little bit um, with fatigue, um, and that's understandable. Um, and we'll, it gives us a chance to get them, you know, closer to being 100%. Gives Henners time to come back. You know, Scott, you know, comes back into it. Um, Louis uh, Britton has a, has a week's training. Um, so hopefully he can get closer. Um, and then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll have a, 
we'll have a few more to pick from um, and you know we go into what is you know we, we're well in now into the second half of the season uh, in a really good position yeah Boston United next obviously they've, they've struggled a bit this season we obviously won at their place um, it's another home game another chance to get three points on the board and, and hopefully there's some backing from the fans again yeah Boston's always tough um, don't matter where you know what position they are in the league um, I think they come with a bit of a late run last year uh, new manager's gone in there um, he's had a little bit more time now to to get his ideas across um, good thing is that you know I, I can go and watch him on on Tuesday night at uh, at Southport um, and you know it always expected to be really tough against Boston you know they're not not a, not an easy team to play against um, you know and they, they've got ambitions to be out of this league and always been up and around it so you know they're all dangerous games you know whoever you play is dangerous and uh, and Boston will will be the same um, so we prepare ourselves right you know we'll be positive about about the result the positive about the position we're in um, and you know, fair play to the this nearly eight hundred here today because you know it was a horrible day. You know, windy. Um, it's probably expected to be even worse than what it was. Um, so credits for them to coming out and supporting us and getting behind us. And you know, they can see that the lads give every everything for them. And um, you know, just just keep enjoying where we are because you know you have a look at the league. You know, we've played most of those teams above us away from home this season. You know, so. You know we're in a, we're in a really strong position for the for the games that we've played and where we've had to go. You know, so we can't forget what a good position we're in. But we need those to keep coming through the gate. You know, if we're going to be able to keep the players that we've got and hopefully, you know, um, add to the squad. And um, so, you know, keep supporting us because it's very important.